Hello and welcome to Lloyd BMW South Lakes. Today we have this fantastic BMW X3. It's the 40D, so that's the twin turbo, three litre straight six engine in the front, driving all four wheels through the eight speed automatic gearbox. This particular car was registered in February 21, putting it on a 70 plate and has covered just over 10,000 miles. Uh, it's finished in photonic blue metallic paint and inside we've got contrasting black Vanaska leather interior. Spec wise, we've got the technology pack, we've got the comfort pack, we've got the M Sport Pro pack, we've got a tow bar, which if I remember, I'll show you on the way when we get to the back of the car. Um, uh, what else has it got? Uh, run flat tires on the 21 inch wheels. Uh, so part of the Pro pack is you obviously get the, the black grills. Uh, we've also got the upgraded 21 inch wheels with the uh, M Sport brakes there. You can see the blue brake calipers behind. We've got the privacy glass there on the rear of the car. You've got comfort access, which is so your keys can stay in your pocket. Uh, you just walk up to the car and uh, a door handle and it will open. We've got the M seat, so a little M here. So you can see you've got the shoulder support as well as the other two bolsters you'd get on a sport seat. You've got adjustable under thigh support. Seats themselves are electric. And you've got two position memory on those as well for a couple of drivers. You've got electric windows all around, electric folding mirrors, electric tailgate. We've got the upgraded Harman Kardon sound system as well. So hopping inside, you can see there we've got the full digital dash. I'll just close that door. There you go. So full digital dash and the mileage there, 10,072 miles. To start the car, foot on the brake, press the start button and the car comes to life. Obviously you've got the large satellite navigation screen if I just zoom out. Let's go to map, zoom out, zoom in. Um, right, so we're located up in the Lake District. We are 10 minutes off junction 36 of the M6. So Windermere's just up here. We're just down here, M6 runs north south there. Beautiful part of the wheel, if you're passing, feel free to uh, to drop in. With a slight reverse gear, you can see we've got parking sensors on the front, parking sensors on the rear, as well as the camera out the back with guidelines and obstacle markers as well. We've got some favorite buttons down here, which are handy for people that you ring often or places that you visit often. You've got uh, dual zone climate control, so your passenger can have a separate temperature to the driver, or you can sync them both together like so. Uh, what else we got? We've got electric, sorry, we've got electric seats. Yeah, we've got heated seats as well. Uh, so three-stage heating on those. Underneath here, we've got a nice little place to uh, put your phone to charge. We've got a couple of drinks holders as well. Uh, eye controller does the screen. We've got the automatic gearbox, uh, electric handbrake, different driving modes, hill descent control if you did want to go off-road. Uh, the gearbox is fantastic. Leave it alone to sort itself out. But if you were in the mood, you can change gear manually by using the paddles either side of the steering wheel. Got heated steering wheel as well. We've got cruise control, we've got speed limiter. On the other side, we can choose the entertainment source. We can answer the phone. We've got voice activation. We've got uh, volume. We can change radio stations and stuff like that. Um, so, um, right, so the car has got a head up display. Sometimes it's difficult to show it on a video, but hopefully you can see. It says zero miles an hour, which is obviously the speed we're traveling at. And then when I go to change the radio station, you can see the information hopefully coming up there. We can then scroll through, maybe a bit of radio, absolute absolute 90s, there you go, select that. Uh, also your satellite navigation can come up on the screen as well. Right, other nice features, we've got automatic headlights. If I come around here, we've also got automatic headlights along with the front and rear fog lights as well. Right, I'll just turn that off and show you the rest of the car. So as I mentioned, you've got privacy glass on the rear, it just keeps things cooler uh, for rear seat passengers during hot weather. Uh, plenty of room in the back of the X3, very practical car. All the seat belts have got the little M colours on there, which is quite a nice little touch. Obviously you've got black Vanaska leather with the blue contrast stitching. Uh, you've got ISO fix on the two outer seats. You've also got their uh, rear seat passengers, so they've also got their own climate control. There's also a couple of USB-C ports down there for charging any devices which they may have. Um, Right, coming around the back of the car, obviously you've got the M40D badge in there and you've got the single exhaust either side and then you've got the electric tailgate which I can open just on the key. Nice big boot on the X3, so it is a very practical car. If you do need more space you can uh, fold the seats down, you've got the 40-20-40 split rear seats, we've got the Tonyo cover as well, we've also got extra storage underneath the boot floor. There's a 12 volt supply and a hook for shopping on that side, hook for shopping on that side. You've also got a little net there as well. And then to close it, you can just press the button like so. 
and there we have it so this car currently for sale here at lloyd bmw south lakes if it's of any interest and give us a shout we're always happy to answer any of your questions maybe work out some finance figures for you maybe organize a test drive for you um, or if you're not local to us don't worry about that we also offer a nationwide delivery service as well uh, in the meantime thank you very much for watching the video i have just remembered though before i go i did promise to show you the, the uh, tow bar so well done anybody that's lasted this long in the, in the video uh, so when we're around the back here uh, there's a little button behind this panel here press that and they used to come out faster in the old days but then people used to complain they used to smack the shins so now slowly you will see the electric tow bar coming out and eventually the lock into position there you go so you've got the fully electric tow bar there and then to put it away press the button quite handy as well when you've obviously select reverse uh, i'll just close this boot down you've got the camera so if you're backing up to something to load you can see the camera there is looking right down at where you're backing up to so it just makes it uh, that much easier for you uh, so i'm glad i didn't forget that bit anyway thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed the video bye for now